بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله ابن منذر ابن منذري رحمه الله تعالى <coughs> he mentions in his book ترهيب وترغيب uh, he mentioned some beautiful ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the hadith, ahadith which are for the encouragement to do good works, and the tarheeb, the uh, distancing so oneself, and that which is bringing fear to one to remove them from doing evil, to prevent them from doing evil, to discourage them from doing evil, and he mentioned in his book. Uh, in the explanation of his book, he mentions uh, the hadith of Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, which is very important regarding ikhlas lillah, which is in, involved uh, in the sincerity of, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that all of our actions require sincerity. As the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in a'malu bin yad wa inna likulli mirin manawa. فَمَنْ كَانَ الْهِجْرَةُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ فَهِجْرَةُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَمَنْ كَانَ الْهِجْرَةُ لِلْدُنْيَا يُصِيبُهَا أَوْ امْرَأَةٍ يَنْكِحُهَا فَهِجْرَةُ إِلَى مَا هَجَرَ إِلَيْهِ أَخْرَجَاهُ إِنَّ حَدِيثًا صَحِيحًا The hadith of Umar ibn al-Khattab رضي الله تعالى عنه where he said I heard the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم say Verily, actions are tied to the intentions, and everyone shall get that for which he intended. Therefore, he who migrates for Allah and his messenger, then he is migrated for Allah and his messenger. And he who migrates to take some woman in marriage or for some worldly gain will get that for which he migrated for. Uh, and so that shows us the importance of having sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in everything we do. And in this wonderful book, which is an explanation of Imam Mundari's Targhib uh, Targhib, and it is uh, an explanation by uh, Abi Muhammad Hassan ibn Ali ibn Suleiman al Badr al Fayumi al Qahiri. He mentions some very uh, fantastic benefits and the kalam of the ulama, a sunnah, throughout time uh, regarding this hadith or regarding these ahadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the hadith that I wanted to mention, Imam Mundari, he mentions in his muqaddama, he said, وَعَنْ عَنَسْ إِبْنْ مَالِقْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَنْعِنْهُ عَنَا رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ قَالْ مَنْ فَارِقَ الدُّنْيَا عَلَى إِخْلَاسِ لِلَّهِ وَحْدَهُ لَا شِرِكَ لَهُ وَإِقَامَ الصَّلَاةِ وَآتَى زَكَاتِ فَارِقَهَا وَاللَّهُ عَنْهُ رَاضٍ رُوَاهُ إِبْنْ مَاجَ وَالْحَاكَمْ وَقَالَ صَحِيْهِ عَلَى شَرْتَ شَيْخَيْنِ So this is a sound hadith بإذن الله تعالى and it's the hadith of Anas ibn Malik رضي الله تعالى عنه He said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that whoever leaves this dunya whoever leaves this worldly life with sincerity, meaning ikhlas lillah, and he says ikhlas lillah, wahdahu la sharika, with, you know, by worshipping Allah alone, and sincerity in one's worship of Allah, the Almighty alone, and establishes the prayer, and pays the zakat, then he has left the dunya, meaning that he will die, having pleased Allah. You know, done those, doing those things which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam al-Qahri, he mentions about this hadith. He says about the statement where the Prophet wasallam said he will leave the dunya, whoever leaves the dunya, uh, based, you know, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity. Uh, alone, without ascribing any partners to him and establishing the prayer and the zakat until the rest of the hadith. He says, فَيَجِبُوا عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنْ أَنْ يُكُونْ مُخْلِصٍ فِي إِمَانِهِ مُخْلِصٍ فِي تَوْبَاتِهِ مُخْلِصٍ فِي تَعَلَّمْ مَا يَجِبُوا عَلَيْهِ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ مُخْلِصٍ فِي تَعْلِيمٍ مِنَ الْمَنْ يَعْلَمْ 
مخلص في القول والفعل وحركتي وسكوتي أو سكوني والأخذ وعطائي في ظاهر وسرائر يريد بها يريد بهذا كله وجه الله ودار الآخرة سوى قل أو كثير So he mentions, uh, Imam al-Qahri, he mentions, he says that it, therefore it's an obligation. So this is his uh, explanation of this hadith or his ta'liqat or his commentary. He says, so therefore it is an obligation upon the Muslim, on the mu'min, that he is sincere in his iman and sincere in his tawbah, you know, in his, uh, his repentance. Uh, and sincere in his learning that which is an obligation upon him to learn regarding uh, Islamic knowledge. And he says, and sincere in learning or teaching uh, those who he teaches. And sincere in his statements and his actions in all of his movements and in his ceasing to move and in uh, giving and receiving in that which is open and hidden and he should want or he should intend with all of that the face of Allah and the hereafter regardless of whether it's a little or a lot meaning a little action or a lot that the intention is most important. And then he says, Wa'lam, anna la'mal kullaha ad sad, wal ikhlas hu al ruh, wala yanfa jizid bila ruh intaha qalahu fi umdata salik. So then he mentions a statement which is attributed to Ibn al Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala <clears throat> regarding this uh, hadith or regarding the importance of ikhlas. He says, and no that deeds, all of them, are related to the body. And sincere, sincerity, that is the soul. And the body does not benefit without the soul. So letting us know that we have ikhlas is imperative. And as the ulama mentioned that ikhlas and mutaba, that having sincerity in your worship to, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and sincerity in all of your deeds and that you follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with your deeds all of this, this makes up uh, this makes up sin, uh, real worship in Islam this is real worship, real ibadah in Islam is it's based on uh, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's based upon following the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So if a Muslim wants to get his or her deeds accepted, they have to uh, be in accordance with those two conditions. And then he mentions uh, another fa'idah that is related to ikhlas. He mentions a statement of... <clears throat> What one of the students of Imam Mundari, where he said, "Alam, wafakna wafakna Allah wa iyak, an nashart al am, fi kabul jamia anwa taat, wal fouls bi ajriha wa thawabiha huwa ikhlas, wa kull wa amal la yaster an al ikhlasi, fu huwa ila halak akrab." So one of the st uh, students of Imam Mundari, the, the one who wrote, uh, you know, compiled the original book, uh, Tarheeb or Tarheeb, he, one of his students, he commented about this, uh, the importance of sincerity. He says, and no, may Allah grant us and you success. So he made dua for the, the reader. He says that the general condition for the acceptance of all acts of worship, all acts of ta'ad. He said, jami' and wa ta'ad. All the acts of uh, obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wafols and the success. 
the success with ad, with with its adjure and its rewards, it is ikhlas. And he said, all deeds that are not based upon sincerity, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they are closer to destruction. Meaning that uh, if they're not based upon ikhlas, then they have no benefit. Then they're actually destruction. And when we look at that issue, that last statement, and we're going to end there, he's commented so much, there's so much we can say and so many benefits from the ulama, but we don't want to make it long. But I want to just comment just quickly on that last uh, ibarah, that last statement he mentioned. He said, فَهُوَ إِلَى حَالِكْ uh, هُوَ إِلَى حَالِكْ أَقْرَبْ So he is closer to destruction. How is it that you can be, have destruction if you lack in your ikhlas? You, if you lack in ikhlas, lack in sincerity to Allah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, <coughs> then it can actually destroy you because, of course, it could at a minimum be riya or sum'a, you know, showing off and doing things to be heard about. That's at a minimum, and that's the minor shirk. Or, at worst, it can be the major shirk which takes you out of the fold of Islam, just doing worship strictly to please the people, not to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that shows us, obviously, that our destruction is with shirk. Our destruction is with kufr. Our destruction is with that which displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and takes us to Jahannam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.